Hi, and welcome to this practicing tips session. I'm Eve Newsome, Senior Lecturer at Queensland Conservatorium Griffith University. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to plan your repertoire across the practice week. Usually as musicians, we have quite a few things we want to get done in one week, so scale, studies, exercises and pieces, and we can't get them done in one day or even a couple of days, so we need a great plan for the whole week. I can recommend that you go online, you have a look at some of the practicing logs, journals and diaries that are available and see if you can find one that suits you, or you create one for yourself to meet your own needs. Now, it's a great idea to start our practice, remembering why we love music, and why we play. So find something, maybe five or 10 minutes long, that you can play at the start of your practice every day, just to get yourself in the mood. After that, I recommend you follow it up with foundational material, such as scales, studies, exercises, and long notes. That way you're practicing them when you've got the most energy and the most focus. After a break, then follow up with some of your important repertoire. So think about what is the most important for me to learn today. Might be refining a concerto, might be memorizing something, might be a set of excerpts. If you want to practice more during the day, after that then, Find something lighter, something a bit easier to play that doesn't require as much energy or as much focus. At the end of the day, look back over the day and see what's gone well and what needs further work and then decide on a plan for tomorrow. If you're the kind of person who wants to make a plan for the whole week in advance, that's fine. And just remember that it is your plan. So if you feel like it needs changing, just change it. You're the boss of your plan. At the end of the week, look back over what you've done, see how many times you've played certain pieces, how you've gone with things, and then decide what you'd like to work on further the following week and begin to make your plan. One of the most important things is to keep engaged and to keep motivated with our practicing. So make sure that you mix things up a bit, you change your practice techniques, maybe you change the order of things sometimes, so that you can really feel interested in what you're doing and it keeps you motivated. So I hope you've got something from these tips today and I look forward to speaking with you further about practicing. Until then, happy practicing. <laughs>